<laughs> Hi everybody, this is Bev here, Clerical Vision, and it's the first video I think I've done in another rough week or so. Um, it's been, I've been on holiday for the last fortnight and I'm back to work tomorrow and so I've had the Sunday evening blues as I call it since Friday evening. Um, but never mind, so this is Sunday, is this, this is Sunday afternoon now? And I thought I really should get some videos and I'm going to try and do, my plan is to try and get four done today but whether I get them all done or not is another matter. Um, but I, uh, <coughs> I want to get a couple of things done and it, because of the weather being so hot in Scotland last week it uh, just kind of scuppered a few things because it was just so hot I just couldn't be bothered doing anything. Couldn't be bothered going anywhere, couldn't be bothered doing anything in the house, it was too hot. So we kind of just did nothing all week and um, lazed about, trying to figure out ways to, be, to get cool etc. Um, but thankfully it's a bit more normal uh, today for our weather, it's down to, it's about 19 today, which is still, uh, you know, it's warm enough certainly in the house, <coughs> um, but it's much more bearable. And you can actually get about and do things. Um, <coughs> so here I'm trying to catch up with some videos and uh, I am going to, this video, it, it's kind of been inspired a bit by um, Brendan Van D put out a video recently and I've also seen I think Mark G with a C and Darcy at Six Strings Nine Lives recently show these um, and I thought I'll just do that as well and this is all about the cassette that's right I'm going to show off my cassette collection because when I started um, collecting records and music again um, and when I first got uh, joining the vinyl community over a year back I didn't have any cassettes um, the cassettes I did have back in the day I got rid of them all I can never use a cassette again, you know, at hindsight times. You throw out all your tape recorders anyway, the CDs replace the tapes anyway, so you think you're never going to ever go back to the cassette. But since I've started collecting um, records and the like again, I have managed to just grab a cassette or two here and there along the way that's caught my eye um, because they are still the cheapest format out there to collect, there's no doubt about it. So you can really uh, score a bargain or two in the cassette department. Um, so I'm just going to show them off. There'll be two parts. The first part is all the cassettes I have except and part two will be Def Leppard only. Um, <coughs> so. Those of you who want to see that can watch it. If you're not fussed for the Def Leppard, then you can skip that. Um, but anyway, so as I say, I got rid of all my cassettes and basically but the only cassette that we really had in the house for quite a number of years would be this Friends tape. And I have mentioned this in the past. Um, but this was my mum and dad's tape. They ordered it off of uh, Teledisc. It was a TV advert where you could order this album, which is a compilation. It's called Friends, and it's a compilation of kind of country and western, easy listening, and it's a long play. And it's a, it comes on a double vinyl as well. I don't even know if it was ever issued on CD, but here's the cassette. And it was 1982 compilation, Teledisc Records Limited. So you in those days, you filled out a form somewhere, whether you got it, I don't know, or you phoned up a number and you ordered it online and you sent off a cheque or whatever um, and lo and behold your music was delivered to you. Um, and so we took this, this was in the car constantly when we used to go summer holidays as kids, We'd go down to Wales and uh, England and um, for our caravan holidays and this was one of the tapes that was always played and me and my brother we kind of got to know the songs on here so well so it's just kind of one of these t 
tape, so it's kind of more of a sentimental kind of thing about it now, but um, I do enjoy listening to it on the odd occasion if I want something completely different. It still plays great. I mean, it's been played I don't know how many times, but uh, it still plays like a dream. So, so up until just, I don't know, last year, a year ago, this was the only cassette. I don't know why, but somehow this cassette managed to not get thrown away. It somehow survived. It just was stored away in a cupboard somewhere in my mum's room or whatever. So, <clears throat> but since joining the vinyl community, I have amassed a small amount. This is by no means a large amount, but I'm going to go through them in alphabetical just to show them. So, uh, this is Asia and Astra is this album. I don't, I can't remember the date. It's been a while since I've listened to this. I'm not overly excited about it, to be honest with you. But um, it's the clear tape and it is Geffen Records and I can't see the date yet. I will find it eventually. 1985, this one. So this is one of Asia's later cassettes. So. Astra. <coughs> then I have Badlands, which I grabbed um, off of eBay for an extremely cheap price compared to what you see the record and even the CD for. Um, this is Badlands, self-titled. I think most people in the VC or in the rock metal community know about this one. This is 1989. And it's a Titanium Atlantic and, you know, as I say, this thing isn't the greatest thing for focusing. And there we have it. Along with that one, uh, I got this one as well, which is Badlands Voodoo Highway. Again, it's on the Atlantic um, Titanium. Um, really nice condition as well. Another clear tape, this one. Then I picked up this one. I can't even remember where I picked it up from, but I did pick it up. And this is, it's a classical, oh, I think it came off eBay because it was about 79 pence. Um, <laughs> classical um, great composers. This is pieces of Chopin whose primary instrument was the piano, so this has a piano concerto <coughs> uh, in E minor, first movement, second movement and third movement, um, and it's quite, it's very nice to listen to if you want to just relax. This cassette is dated, um, actually it's 1974. I thought it looked a bit older. It's got 1974 on the sleeve in here, so but again it was in fine condition. I don't know the label. It has DTO, Ditto, classical cassette series. I don't know if that's got something to do with it. But um, some classical stuff I like. Um, some piano is one of the things I can take on again, so that's Chopin. Then we have Cliff Richard, Always Guaranteed, EMI, Just Because, this song's on here I quite like, um, My Pretty One Was A Hurt, I remember seeing them on top of the pops, Some People, Two Hearts, um, and this one I think, is this about 1987? Yeah, it is 1987 this one. Another clear cassette, this one. Very clear. And this is EMI, definitely. <coughs> Next up, I found The Cult and Sonic Temple. Um, and this is the original cassette on Beggar's Banquet. Um, I got this before I found the record to tide me over. We have it, fantastic stuff. So, yeah, 19. Uh, it was a 69, I think, this one, wasn't it? 
Produced by Bob the Rock, 1989 it is, yes. That's in rather good condition, I have to say. Excellent stuff. Uh, then I have Femme Fatale, self-titled album by a female fronted band from, again, 19... Well, this is 1988. And this is manufactured in Germany, this one. Uh, sorry that you can't see the track listing very clear. Um, it doesn't really work too well with um, this camera for some reason and smaller writing. So, uh, and there we have Femme Fatale MCA Records. <coughs> it's a good album as well. <coughs> Next up we have Great White uh, and that's Recovery Live um, Capital Records and this is 1988. I know um, different country issues have slightly different uh, material on here. This one I think is the UK issue um, which came out a year later than the US one which I think is why there's different stuff from the US version to the UK um, but yeah and on this one on side A you've got 1986 recordings <coughs> of some uh, Led Zeppelin um, and other um, there's I can't even remember who put them on Red House who does Red House do, 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 do. Hendrix, that's the one. Do you know, how could you possibly forget that? Eh? Honestly, there's the inner thing there. Um, so, yeah, the covers of some bands on uh, side A that they recorded in 86. And in 87, you've got uh, some live tracks from a gig at the Marquee Club in December 87. That's pretty good. Stuff. Um, then I've got Great White and Twice Shy. I do have Once a Button on the CD. Um, and this is Capital as well. This one I think is also, uh, no, this is 1989 actually. And this is the one that came after Once Button, right enough. So. <coughs> And the third Great White one I have is um, The Best of Great White, 80, 86 to 1992. Um, so it's a compilation and Capital Records again. There we go. So we've got some of the best tracks. Uh, next we have Gun and favourite pleasures. Now this was Gunn's latest release from 2017. Yes, 2017 and this is actually still in the shrink. Um, the only reason I picked this up was because it was a, a couple of pound on eBay. I've already got the CD and the record of this album but it was basically for fun um, I picked up the cassette because it was cheap. Cheap enough. It's probably dearer than all the other ones here that I've, I've bought them. Um, so that is Gunn's Favourite Pleasures 2017 and this is on uh, Caroline International Records. Then I've picked up Kenny Loggins, um, Back to Avalon and this is a 1988 release. Um, quite like some of Kenny Loggins' stuff. Yeah, 1988 CVS, this one has a paper label. Actually, so does the Gunn one. That has a paper label on it as well. Um, the rest have all been clear tapes up to now, I think, um, apart from the Chopin one. Um, so yeah, back to Avalon. Kenny Loggins wasn't as big here as he was in the United States, I know that much, but I quite like his stuff. Then this one I got off eBay as well, and it was still in the shrink when I got it, and it's a, a 1988 
release this one on Polydor. Uh, it's Magnum Wings of Wings of Heaven. Um, so this is you know in lovely condition. Um, of course I opened it because I wanted to play it. And then this is a paper label. There we are. Side two, that's side one there. Uh, got some good songs on here that I recall. So that's that. Then another artist who was much bigger in America. He wasn't really that well known in the UK. And this is Eddie Money and his album Nothing to Lose. Uh, this is also on CBS Records. <coughs> And I think this is also 1988. Yep, it is indeed. It's very similar to the Kenny Loggins one. 1988. Oops. Then this one is just a recent acquisition and it's brand new, 2019. And it is Outlaws Marauders. Um, their latest album. And this is on Dying Victims Productions. I think it's slightly different label than what the record is. Um, yeah, because I think if I'm right, the vinyl was on H High Roll H High Roller Records, but I think the cassette was issued by Dime Victims Productions, which is a German company as well, I think. Um, and I they had a deal on for the cassette and you got a sticker and a badge, it was about five pounds. So when I was ordering the vinyl, I thought I'll just go with the cassette as well, just again for the, the novelty of it, and just to have a cassette. Um, so black, all black, and and this is a good album as well. New wave of traditional heavy metal kind of stuff. Uh, next, Robert Plant, Now and Zen. Scored this one in the charity shop. And this is on, here's the, oh yeah, it's a fancy, manufactured in Germany, Atlantic, it's, it's just got a slightly different label uh, thing on it, but I think it's Atlantic, is it? Virgin music, so no, ignore me, it's virgin music. That doesn't even look like virgin. I guess it is. Anyway, Robert Plant now and Zen, and this was, or is rather, 1988 as well. Then another charity shop spot is Rats, self titled EP. This was the first thing they issued, I believe. And this is on Time Coast Communications label. Um, this is in really nice condition. Um, part of distributed by Time Coast Communications, distributed by Atlantic. 1983. Black cassette. Uh, and it's got six tracks basically. Yep, uh, it's the six tracks. So. That's quite good. I, I quite like the, the EP of Rat. I'm not a huge Rat fan, to be honest. Um, I think the EP and maybe their first album, but then after that, they kind of just get too, I don't know, hairish. Just not, nothing amazing for me. I don't know why. I know loads of people love them, but they don't grab me the same. But, Anyway, moving on, um, Starship, Love Among the Cannibals, I also have this on record, and this is on RCA, and this was an album released in 1989, this one, uh, distributed in the UK by BMG, so part of the RCA group, so in Europe it was uh, BMG, <coughs> but it's got RCA on here. Um, so yeah, this came out in 1989, which was after the big super hits, Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now and We Built This City. Um, <coughs> then we have Status Quo and their Ain't Complaining album. 
Um, my, we used to have this, my dad used to have this cassette. We played this in the car a lot as well. Um, but that was one of the ones that got the heave. So I um, saw this really cheap, so I picked it up again. 1988 again. And uh, this is Phonogram, Vertigo, whatever you want to call it. I think these guys are all the same company as well. Photogram, Vertigo, Mercury. <coughs> and the last, well, the, old, the, the penultimate, if you like, um, White Lion and Main Attraction. And again, this is Atlantic, and this one is 1991. So, um, again, White Lion, they're a band, I just can't really decide if I like them or not, to be honest. There's something that... They're all right, but I just... They're not... I would list, rather listen to a lot of other bands before I went to them. Kind of similar to Rat, I feel. Um, and the final one to show here um, is my uh, compilation, Cloudy with a Chance of Metal, um, the new wave of the new wave of British heavy metal. This comp was put together by Andy at Cloudy Milder and he has sent it to a few people and it's a, it's a bunch of <coughs> um, new bands that have come through in recent years in the, in the vein of the, the sound of the new wave of British heavy metal kind of thing um, and it's really good. There's a lot of interesting stuff on here and I'm actually halfway through it still since I last had it on. You've got Eliminator, um, Amulet, Midnight Force, Neuron Spoiler, Seven Sisters. I've, I've heard them talk about a lot of these bands in these videos. <coughs> um, so I'll be revisiting this shortly actually I think. So that is all my cassettes apart from the Def Leppard ones which will be separate to this. Um, and I just thought it'd be fun to show what I've uh, accumulated over um, the last year or so, so that's how big my collection is. Not very big in comparison to some people, I'm sure. Um, but there's a wee drop there. As I say, connect cassettes are not my number one go-to format, but if you get something pretty decent at such a cheap price, then you've got to grab it. Right, um, so thanks for watching and um, if you fancy showing off your cassettes then do get them out. It's always good to see a bit of the old cassette tape. Um, I'll catch you later. Bye bye.